everybody and welcome to the first part of the game programming tutorial series. Today, I'll be going over how to get everything set up so you can start making games. This tutorial assumes you've already installed Flash Develop. If you haven't, there's a link in the description below to, uh, to the download page. Once you have Flash Develop, what you want to do is run it. And the first thing you should see is uh, this screen right here. The next thing you want to do is click create a new project. The kind of project we're trying to make right now is an AS3 project right up here. So click on that. And you can place this project anywhere. I'm going to be placing it on my desktop uh, and I'll be calling it tutorial series. You can call it whatever you want. So once you've done that, uh, the right side of flash develop, uh, this pane right here should change to um, your projects workspace so you double click on main.as that's your entry point which I'll talk about that later and the next thing you want you're gonna need is Flixel so what Flixel is it's a game engine for action script 3 which is the programming language which we're gonna use for this uh, tutorial series and this engine provides a lot of features um, like physics and the ability to display things on the screen and a lot of other things that simplify what we're trying to do very much. So the you can go ahead and download Flixel from uh, from the website flixel.org. And this is their main page and you want to click download and download Flixel. I'll put a link to this below and it uh, comes in a zip file and I'm going to go ahead and put that in a desk on in a folder on my desktop called uh, external libraries and frameworks you can put that anywhere you want um, so let's just wait for WinRAR to start up so after you've extracted uh, Flixel to your desktop or wherever you plan on putting <coughs> sorry um, you should have a folder uh, which says atom atomic Flixel um, and a hash code and so what you want to do next is copy the org folder into your project. So what you're going to do, you're going to click and hold on the org folder and drag it over to your source folder in Flash Develop. And you should see that's been imported. And you can expand that all out. And these are all the things that uh, Flixel provides for you. So there's the ability to load maps and display them, um, text, state, sounds, save files, um, tons of things. It's going to be very useful for us and you can make almost any game imaginable with it. And uh, if you do need to add on to it, the code's right there. But uh, for our purpose purposes, we won't need to be doing, we won't need to do that. So don't worry about that. And uh, the first thing you want to do, you want to get rid of all this code right here. Not necessary for us. So now that I've done that, I'll, uh, the next thing you want to do is change uh, sprite right here to FLX game. And uh, it should show up a pop-up uh, showing uh, all the classes in Flixel. And the one you want is FLX game. It'll automatically import uh, FLX game for you and we'll go over what that is later if it doesn't you can go ahead and do that yourself so just type out what you see here if, uh, if that's not exactly what uh, you're seeing right now and the next thing you want to do you want to add a tag to this uh, to this class right this file We'll go over them mo more in depth later, but for now, all you want to do is add an SWF tag. So uh, type open square bracket and SWF and open bracket, curly, not curly bracket, but uh, parentheses and go width equals um, 640 and height equals 480 and then VG background color. Mm, Okay, we'll leave it at that for now because I forget exactly what uh, the background color tag is called. So, 
the next thing you want to do is add a constructor. So a constructor is basically the first piece of code that gets executed whenever a class is created or instantiated using the, the new keyword. So we'll go over that more later, but just copy down what I'm um, typing right now. So public function um, main, and uh, we don't need any arguments, and then we're just gonna open bracket, close bracket, and next we're gonna type um, super, and right here is where you want to type the size of your game in, in, in the width of your game, right here. It should show up a, a prompt uh, stating exactly what you're type, what you're supposed to type, and 480. And the next thing we're going to need to do, in order to fulfill all the arguments to this function, is create another class which will house our play state or our first game state. This can be a menu state or um, anything else really. So I'll go over states more in depth later again. And um, for now, all you need to do is just create a new class by right clicking the source folder, add new class, and make the name playstate or whatever you wanna call it. And it should show you this screen. And the next thing you wanna do after that's uh, shown up, it uh, you wanna write extends and flx state. So after you've done that, uh, you can pretty much leave that blank and go back into main.as and type out flx um, playstate right here. And the rest of the arguments, you don't need, really need to worry about. So, uh, yep. And so the next thing is just click the little play button up here. And if everything went correctly, it should, uh, it should show a screen, an empty window, black window, perfect. So there you go, you have your project set up with Blixel and you already have a play state in there. And in the next tutorial, we'll be going over how to actually so show something on the screen and uh, move stuff around using the arrow keys. So thank you.